हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बूटस्ट्रैप फाइव वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज बूटस्ट्रैप हाउ टू डाउनलोड बूटस्ट्रैप हाउ टू ऐड बूटस्ट्रैप टू आवर वेबसाइट बूटस्ट्रैप टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेटिंग क्लासेस टेक्स्ट साइज क्लासेस टेक्स्ट कलर क्लासेस बैकग्राउंड कलर क्लासेस हेडिंग टेक्स्ट क्लासेस टेक्स्ट अलाइनमेंट क्लासेस टेक्स्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म क्लासेस इमेज क्लासेस लिस्ट क्लासेस table classes button classes and badge classes in this video tutorial i would like to discuss bootstrap button group classes let's understand how do we group buttons in bootstrap you can see at the desktop we have my dash website folder i open it inside my dash website folder we have default.html page i right click on it say open with notepad you can see that default.html page is open in the notepad its title is set to bootstrap demo I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo. Let's understand bootstrap button group related classes. First we have btn dash group class. btn dash group class removes the space between the buttons, removes top right and bottom right rounded corners from all the buttons except from the last button in the group it removes the top left and bottom left rounded corners from all the buttons except from the first button in the group it keeps the buttons horizontally in the group guys for example here in the body section i am going to create a div opening div and closing div inside that i am going to create some buttons so i see here input type equal to submit submit if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see the submit button is displayed let's make it look better with the help of bootstrap button classes so here i say class of btn btn dash primary if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got the blue color button right i am going to copy this line of code and paste down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here i change btn dash s e c o n d a r y secondary btn dash success btn dash warning btn dash danger btn dash info btn dash light btn dash dark if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got the buttons are displayed here in different colors nice now what i want i want to remove the space between these buttons to remove the space between these buttons we can simply use the class here in the parent element btn dash group if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it has created the group of buttons it has removed the space between the buttons you can see that right so i told that btn dash group removes space between the buttons it removes top right and bottom right rounded corners from all the buttons except from the last button in the group it removes the top right and bottom right rounded corners from all the buttons except from the last button i also told that it removes the top left and bottom left rounded corners from all the buttons except the first button in the group i keeps the buttons horizontally in the group guys fine next we have btn dash group dash vertical class btn dash group dash vertical class it removes the space between the buttons it removes the bottom left and bottom right rounded corners from all the buttons except from the last button in the group removes the top left and top right rounded corners from all the buttons except from the first button in the group it keeps the buttons vertically in the group guys for example i am going to copy this code here i am going to add br line breaks and then i paste the code and let me remove this class from here if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see one more set of buttons displayed check out what happens if i use the class class of btn dash group dash vertical if i say file 
save code browser and refresh you can see that buttons are getting displayed one below another that's what the btn dash group dash vertical class does it removes the space between the buttons it also removes the bottom left and bottom right rounded corners from all the buttons except the last button in the group it removes the top left and top right rounded corners from all the buttons except the first button in the group and it keeps the buttons vertically guys right that's good next we have btn dash group dash lg class which displays the buttons little bit larger than the normal in size guys so if you see here i am going to copy this code from here and i add line breaks here br again a br i paste here if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got a button group we can display these buttons little bit larger in size by using btn dash group dash lg if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see these buttons are getting displayed larger compared to the normal size buttons right next i'm going to copy this code and paste down we also have btn dash group dash sm class if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got one more set of buttons where the buttons are getting displayed smaller in size you can see that fine so that's about the btn dash group dash lg class btn dash group dash sm class next we have btn dash toolbar class btn dash toolbar class is used to group two or more button groups it is used to group two or more button groups guys it removes the space between the button groups for example if i copy this code from here okay let's paste here so this is one button group right i copy this I make one more button group here. So we have two button groups. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can clearly see we have two button groups here, right? Let's reduce the size to 100% so that we can see that the button groups are getting displayed one beside another. You can see that. Now if I take here another div, okay, opening a div and closing div closing due to this parent due i am going to add the class called as btn dash toolbar btn dash toolbar if i say file save go to browser when i refresh you see the space is removed guys if i say refresh you see the space is removed that is what the btn dash toolbar class does which is used to remove the space between two set of button groups and keep them in one group guys that's what the btn dash toolbar class does that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap button group related classes how do we group buttons in bootstrap 5 if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.